Welcome back, everyone. Figures released this year show that one in four New Zealand children will suffer some form of asthma. One in four. Now, asthma is unpleasant, and it can, of course, be much worse than unpleasant, and treating it is expensive. $30 million a year for drugs, $800 million a year when you add in hospitalisation and all the various social costs. So as today is World Asthma Day, we decided to look at an alternative treatment. It's a Russian breathing technique whose supporters claim will help asthmatics reduce their dependence on drugs. Yet mainstream medics say the evidence is weak and it's not a cure-all. So Simon Shepard looks at the Buteyko method. This is eight-year-old Caitlin and her sister Sinead. Like most twins, they share almost everything, including the battle with asthma. Obviously have days off school. Um, used to be they'd have days off kindergarten when they're at kindergarten. They just get really tired, um, unable really to do anything when they've got a bad attack. At the moment, the girls are using what's known as preventers to try and stop asthma attacks. The latest drugs in a long list the family has tried over the years. I just, yeah, I'm just worried that they have to be so dependent on it, really. And it's at that stage where they are totally dependent on it and to keep them well. Asthma is the inflammation of the bronchial tubes. They tighten and produce mucus, restricting the airways and making it hard to breathe. Which comes and goes depending on exposures to things like cold air or allergies and so on. It's, a, it's a, usually a persistent feature, uh, but its severity waxes and wanes. That's the accepted theory, but another technique questions whether cold air or allergies or other so-called triggers are responsible. It suggests that we're a nation of bad breathers because we breathe through our mouths and not our noses. And that means we hyperventilate. We breathe too much. If you think about the symptoms of asthma, have uh, excess mucus production, constriction of the smooth muscles around the airways and the lungs, um, and inflammation. These are actually the body's reacting to the over-breathing. Normal breath out through the nose and hold. Okay, shake, shake, shake. <laughs> this Don't somewhat odd-looking exercise is part of Glenn White's Buteyko class. The breathing technique is named after a Russian professor and is now widely used as the first step treatment for asthma in Russia. The first step in reducing the volume of air you're breathing is to start breathing through your nose. And it's important to realise that our noses are meant to be breathed through. The nose warms, filters and moisturises the air. It even disinfects the air before it gets to the lungs. According to the Bateko method, dealing with asthma is simple. If we don't over-breathe, the body won't react and cause the symptoms of asthma. I would say probably 90% of the people that come to me for symptoms like asthma um, are able to be symptom free um, at the end of the program and able to reduce uh, their reliever medication, many within the first week of doing the course. Clinical studies in Australia and New Zealand have shown that Buteyko has helped asthma sufferers reduce their reliance on both reliever medication like Ventolin and prevent a medication like Flixotide. The Asthma Foundation acknowledges these results, but doesn't believe it's an actual cure. The evidence that Buteyko is helpful, I think, rests in the capacity of certain patients to reduce their dependence on reliever inhalers. One patient who says he's almost given up his drugs after Buteyko is 19-year-old Joe Griffin. He can now play a full game of basketball. I was going to the courses and um, doing my exercises at home and just my asthma just started just stopping. His whole life he's been on drugs. He's, 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 I've stuffed him full of drugs. It's been terrible as a mother putting the Newellin sprinkles into his yoghurt and trying to get them in his mouth as a baby. Mm. He lived on a nebulizer. Buteyko has made what sort of difference to Joe? Unbelievable. I mean, it's an unbelievable thing to see Joe get through his weeks and days and weeks without using any, any drugs. I mean, he stopped and he shouldn't have, but he stopped really quickly. He just didn't need them after about a week or two. It's all about breathing through your nose, even at night. Joe, like some Buteyko converts, 
actually tapes his mouth shut at night, so he has to breathe through his nose. Well, at first I thought it would be quite, you know, quite a daunting thing, like more of a claustrophobic thing, that the fact that I can't breathe and the asthma would be in the back of my head, but in turn with the exercises that just really worked well. That might put some people off. Is there any danger of taping your mouth closed? No, there are millions of people all around the world doing this, you know, and we would never uh, encourage anyone to do this unless we felt that they were absolutely capable of doing it and comfortable with it. So it's not a necessary part of a Buteyko course. Glenn, in fact, claims Buteyko can help with a range of breathing problems, like sleep apnea and snoring. The Asthma Foundation is yet to be convinced, but concedes it might be useful in changing people's attitudes to living with asthma. And the asthma lifestyle is more than just inhalers, and perhaps they, that's where Buteyko has something to teach us. And that's what Caitlin and Sinead's mother is hoping. She wants her girls to escape a lifetime of medication. So I'd, I'd be really keen to try anything that's going to get them off it if, it, if it's possible. It's 25%. Now, with hospitals under pressure, keeping out of them would be a good idea. But with winter comes disease, and now is an especially tough time for asthmatics. Asthma costs New Zealand $30 million a year in drugs and up to $800 million in lost work time, extra costs like hospitalisation and so on. Last month, we reported on a Russian breathing technique called Buteco. Practitioners claim that after six weeks, most clients are asthma-free. So Simon Shepard decided to put it to the test with twin girls. This is how we first met eight-year-old Caitlin and her sister, Sinead. Both of them have been battling asthma since they were toddlers. And Mum was looking to get them a life free from asthma drugs. I just, yeah, I'm just worried that they have to be so dependent on it, really. And it's at that stage where they are totally dependent on it and to keep them well. Normal breath out through the nose, and hold. And here shake, is where shake, Siobhan shake. turned. Mm -hmm. This unusual exercise hard. is called nose unblocking. It's part of the Buteyko breathing technique. According to Buteyko, we're a nation of mouth breathers when we should be using what nature designed for us. Yeah. The nose warms, filters and moisturises the air. It even disinfects the air before it gets to the lungs. As we showed in our first story, some Buteyko converts even tape their mouths shut at night to make them nose breathe. But would the whole Buteyko technique work for twin eight-year-old girls? So we decided to monitor how the twins did in their six-week Buteyko course. This is week two, and the girls are being trained to breathe through their noses. Early results are promising. With the change of weather and the wet weather that's been lately, they would have probably needed to have their relievers as well as the preventers. So, um, and like sometimes Sinead would be up at night needing it and we've had none of that. So I'd say that's definitely an improvement. At six weeks, they should have had no uh, symptoms of asthma. And from our perspective, we, we talk about their steps and they should be doing up between 80 and 100 steps um, uh, consistently. The Buteyko technique was founded by a Russian professor and is now that country's first line of treatment for asthma. Buteyko argues that by breathing through our mouths, we breathe too much, we hyperventilate. And one of the symptoms is asthma. Three small clinical trials, including one in New Zealand, have shown Buteyko helps adults reduce reliance on reliever and preventer medication. And now another New Zealand trial has been published showing similar effects in children. But the trial was very small. We need to do further trials so that uh, I think all doctors would be much more comfortable before getting fully behind Buteyko if there's further research. So back to our twins. At week four, one of them has a cold and teacher Glenn is concerned. Well, they are progressing, but they're not uh, as far advanced as I would have hoped at this stage. And that is why? Well, I think a difficulty initially in, in uh, fitting the program into the day because it does require commitment. Next week, the twins aren't drug free. They still need an asthma preventer. But mum is happy. My biggest concern was about the relievers they were on. So that's been um, positive, really, that they haven't needed that so much. The end of the course and the girls aren't symptom free, but they have shown results. 
When we first met Sinead, her peak flow breath test measured about 100. Six weeks on, another test, and her volume of air has almost doubled. And when we first met the girls, they had all these drugs at their disposal. But now this preventer medication is all they're using. And if the girls have trouble breathing, they don't reach for their puffers. Sinead got wheezy one morning last week, um, just well, it was a particularly cold day, and I just got her to do her steps, her breathing exercises as the first, you know, thing, and it worked. Normally at six weeks we'd, uh, we'd expect them to be completely free, uh, being able to reduce their preventer medication at this stage. Um, but, yeah, we're, we're at the stage where we are controlling symptoms using the Bateco exercises, but uh, we still have a little bit of work to do.